Hello everyone. Welcome to the demo of Vinci Backup and Recovery. Today we will learn how to install Vinci Backup and Recovery in a then server VM. Before that, I would like to mention Vinci can be installed in a physical or virtual machine. It is integrated with CentOS 7 in the same ISO file, which can be directly installed in the VM without installing any OS first. You just need to have access to your Zen server host, which you are going to protect. So in this demo, I will install Vinci on the VM inside the Zen server host. Firstly, go to Vinci website to download the newest version of Vinci Backup and Recovery. Click Try Now. Fill in your information, your full name, and your email address. Select your hypervisor, which is Citrix Zen Server, and click Download. OK, at this time, I will also receive an email from Vinci, which has included the trial license. In this email, you can see the 60 days trial license is attached. And also, you can find the installation guide and user guide and online demo video from here as well. By the way, if you fail to download Vinci from our website, you can also re-download it from here. If in any case, you didn't receive the email, please contact support at Vinci.com. Once the ISO is downloaded, you need to first upload it to ISO library or burn it to CD. I've already uploaded it to my ISO library, so I will access to the Zen Center, which is connected to my Zen server host. OK, connect my Zen server by enter my password. I will first create a new VM. And I need to select CentOS 7 and try to give a name to my new VM. For example, Vinci Backup and description for test. Click Next. Then I select to install from ISO library. Find my Vinching ISO. Here, click Next. And place the VM on one server. Here I only have one Zen server host, so I just keep it default and click Next. And we set up CPU and memory for the VM. Uh, for wrenching, we suggest that uh, 4 CPU and at least 8 GB as memory. And click Next. Next. OK, now we need to set up two different storages for this VM. One used as system disk and the other used as data disk, which is backup repository. First, let me set up one system disk. And we recommend at least 100 gigabyte. Okay. And add another disk, which is data disk. Uh, this is according to your actual demands. Here I uh, have not enough space, so I just uh, try with 150 gigabyte. Click Next and then connect the network for this VM. And Next. And click Create Now. OK, the new VM has been created. Now let's start to install Vinci. Choose Install CentOS 7. 
and click enter on the keyboard. If the installation GUI not appears but shows a blank screen, please reconnect the Zen Center and try again. Okay, now you can see the installation GUI. First, let's set the date and time for the Vention server. Select your region. And the time correct here okay click down then let's choose installation destination here shows two disks we just added when creating the VM untick the 150 gigabytes data disk and click down. Okay. Then set up network for the Venture Backup Server. And IPv4 settings. Choose menu as method. Give an IP address for Venture Backup Server. Click it. Then turn on the Ethernet and done. Okay, now we can just uh, start installation. The installation takes a while, please wait a few minutes. Now the installation has completed, we can just uh, reboot it. You can see the VM has been successfully rebooted. Now let's try to log in by web browser. Okay. So that's it. Vention is just so simple and easy to get installed. Thank you very much.